So it is day eight, and I'm here in Dunn, North Carolina. I'm gonna go check out some uh, battlefields around the area, some Civil War battlefields, starting with the Bentonville uh, battlefield, which is a pretty pretty big battle in the Civil War. And uh, we spent all day doing that, and then this evening, probably, I'll head to uh, Cherokee, North Carolina, Cherokee Indian Reservation. And I have Cherokee blood in me, so I'll talk more about that when I get there. But uh, anyway, day eight, getting started, and I'm on my way to the battlefields. So, peace out, stay tuned. So, I'm here at the Battle of Bentonville, uh, battlefield battle site where uh, uh, General William Tecumseh Sherman and Joseph E. Johnson met for the fourth time and it was a Union victory okay now the Confederates did um, they did land some blows you know they did have some success but it was a, a, a Union force of 60,000 against a Confederate force of about 20,000 so the odds like most of the war the odds were stacked against the Confederates and uh, you know Sherman had a, had a big army and he had more reinforcements on the way and that was, uh, it was actually a month before the war ended. Uh, this battle was the last large battle uh, of the Civil War. It was a major battle and the last major battle of the Civil War, okay? And uh, was fought in North Carolina, okay, near Bentonville. It lasted about three days, March, 20, March 19th to the 21st in 1865. So Lee surrendered, uh, I think, sometime in April. And so uh, this was toward the very end of the American Civil War. But it's a very significant battle, okay, and um, this is the largest battle that occurred in North Carolina. So when I was in South Carolina, I visited Fort Sumter, which was the biggest deal uh, of the Civil War in South Carolina. This is the biggest deal of the Civil War in North Carolina, in the Battle of Bentonville, and I wanted that to be my first uh, major stop here in North Carolina. So I've got other places around here I'm going to visit to other battlefields. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was a battle that was fought, and uh, it was... Uh, a Union victory and about a month after that uh, Lee surrendered to Grant at Appomattox Courthouse so I'm gonna go check it out you can see a little bit of what there is here okay you got the flags and they've got walking tours driving tours but you know what it's mid-July and I'm not gonna be outside any more than I have to <laughs> So they got some stuff inside. They have a video and they have some artifacts. I'm gonna check that out. I spoke to the guy who works here. Very nice guy. Very nice people in North Carolina. And uh, I mean, they define Southern hospitality. They set the standard. So I'm gonna check it out, get some footage, and I'm gonna share it with y'all. So uh, Bentonville, Battlefield, American Civil War. So one thing that I want to note is um, Sherman and Johnson, you know, Sherman was the Union commander, Johnson was the Confederate commander. They were the main uh, commanders of the fighting forces that met here in Bentonville during the three-day battle. Um, this was the fourth time that they had met. Okay, they also met in uh, Vicksburg, Mississippi, Shiloh, Tennessee, and Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, this was the fourth time that they had met. So, I mean, you can imagine at that time how bad everybody wanted the war to end, you know. But um, yeah, this, is, uh, this place is amazing. You come inside and uh, you can watch a video. It's about, I wanna say 20 minutes long. Uh, kind of gives you a, kind, kind of a lowdown on just the highlights of the Civil War, how it started and how it ended. And um, the significance of this place here at Bentonville, North Carolina. And uh, wow, yeah, you got artifacts in there. You can buy souvenirs. Uh, they've got the, um, the, the Harper House where uh, they had the field hospital 
Um, they've got a lot of the original stuff still there, you know. And uh, you can take self self driving tours, or you can take walking tours. You can take um, official tours of this place. It's a big place. Okay. You also have the Harper Family Cemetery over there. So one thing I want to point out is uh, if you look over here at these flags, you will notice that there are four flags. Okay. You have two American flags, one North Carolina state flag, and then you have a flag with the Confederate battle flag on it. Now, with the red stripe at the end, that's the third national flag of the Confederacy, just to let you know. So you might see that in history books and documentaries, magazines, at places like this, battle sites, national parks, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's the third national flag of the Confederacy. My car is over there, and it is hot. It is mid-July, and we are in... North Carolina, and I'm going to get back into my car and drive around this place. So this is the Joseph E. Johnson statue. Uh, he was the leading commander for the Confederate forces that uh, fought uh, General Tecumseh Sherman's forces that met here at Bentonville, uh, North Carolina. And so they have a Confederate battle flag and a statue to commemorate him. And I'm going to go check out the marker, and the statue, and everything that it says over here. So this is a part of the Bentonville Battlefield uh, Historic Park that they have. General Joseph E. Johnson was the highest ranking uh, Confederate officer to uh, join the Confederacy at the time that the uh, Civil War started. So um, he was a higher rank, I believe, than, than Robert E. Lee. I think Robert E. Lee was a colonel uh, before he um, joined the Confederacy, before he resigned uh, from the U.S. Army and then he became a general. Uh, but Joseph E. Johnson is a highly underrated uh, Confederate officer. Uh, who fought in many battles and uh, he fought to the end, you know, and he lived until like the late 1800s. So <clears throat> Robert E. Lee died in 1870 after teaching five years at uh, the, uh, what is it, uh, Washington Elite University in Lexington, Virginia, which is also where VMI is, Virginia Military Institute, where Stonewall Jackson taught before he joined the war. And I'm going to visit that after I visit Cherokee, North Carolina. So three stops in Virginia. Lexington, Virginia, which is where Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson are buried, and uh, then it will be Richmond, a lot of stuff there, that was the former Confederate capital, and then Yorktown, which is uh, where the uh, uh, Lord Cornwallis, uh, General Cornwallis surrendered to George Washington, General George Washington during the American Revolution, which ended uh, the, uh, the American Revolution and gave the Americans their freedom. So lots of history in Virginia, but I'm still in North Carolina, so I'm going to explore more. Uh, Know, battlefields around this area and come check it out Joseph E. Johnson statue at the Bentonville battlefield North Carolina Bentonville
Southern men, the thunders mutter, northern flags and south winds flutter. To arms, 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 to arms in Dixie. Send them back your fierce defiance, stamp upon the cursed alliance. To arms, to arms, to arms, to arms, to arms in Dixie. Advance the flag of Dixie. Hurrah, hurrah, for Dixie's land we take our stand and live or die for Dixie. Fear no danger, shun no labor, lift up rifle, pike and saber to arms, to arms, to arms, to arms, to arms, to arms, to arms in Dixie. Shoulder pressing close to shoulder, let the odds make each heart bolder to arms, to arms, to arms, to arms, to arms in Dixie. Advance the flag of Dixie, hurrah, hurrah, for Dixie's land we take our stand and live or die for Dixie. To arms, to arms, to arms and conquer peace for Dixie. To arms, to arms, to arms and conquer peace for Dixie. Swear upon your country's altar, never to submit or falter. To arms, to arms, to arms, to arms, to arms in Dixie. Till the spoilers are defeated, till the Lord's work is completed. To arms, to arms, to arms, to arms, to arms in Dixie. Advance the flag of Dixie. Hurrah, hurrah, for Dixie's land we take our stand and live or die for Dixie. We are a band of brothers, a native to the soil Fighting for our liberty with treasure, blood, and toil And when our rights were threatened, the cry rose near and far Hurrah for the bunny blue flag that bears a single star Hurrah, 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 hurrah for southern rights, hurrah, hurrah, hurrah blue flag that bears a single star As long as the Union was faithful to her trust Like friends and like brethren, kind we were and just But now when Northern treachery attempts our rights to mar We hoist on high the bonnie blue flag that bears a single star Hoorah, 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 hoorah for Southern rights, hoorah, hoorah, hoorah for the bonnie blue flag that bears a single star Confederacy, strong we are and brave Like patriots of old, we'll fight our heritage to save And rather than submit to shame, to die we would prefer So cheer for the bonnie blue flag that bears a single star Hoorah, 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 hoorah for southern rights Hoorah, 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 hoorah for the bonnie blue flag that bears a single star Hoorah, 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 hoorah for southern rights Hoorah, 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 hoorah for the bonnie blue flag that bears a single star we flag that bears a single star They say there's a place Where dreams have all gone They never said where But I think I know it's miles through the night, just over the dawn, on the road that will take me home. I know in my bones I've been here before, the ground feels the same, love.
So I'm in Dunn, North Carolina at the Battle of Averisboro, which was a prelude to the Battle of Bentonville, which is where I just visited. And it was between uh, William T. Sherman's uh, Union Force and it was uh, William J. Hardy's uh, Confederate Force. Of course, Sherman had a larger force. Uh, the winner of the battle was inconclusive. And uh, so this is uh, you know, one of several battlefields that are around uh, the Dunn, North Carolina area. So Battle of Averisboro, I'm gonna go check it out. There is a sign, nothing but farms all around here. You know, the South really hasn't changed all that much since the 1800s. It's uh, very agricultural, just like it was back then. Look at this, farms, as far as the eye can see. Just like it was back then. So, here's the visitor center, and I'm gonna go check it out. The Verisboro Battlefield Museum. So, the Battle of Averisboro, near Dunn, North Carolina. It's my second stop here in North Carolina. I got one more uh, close by I'm gonna go visit. This, again, this is the prelude to uh, the Battle of Bentonville, which is the site that I just came from. They won't let you take pictures in there like I could over there at the Bentonville uh, place, but that's okay. Um, a lot of cool stuff inside there, uh, just like at the other place and all the other places I visited that pertain to the American uh, Civil War and the Revolutionary War. But take a look at what's around here. The battle site. It's pretty cool. So I'm here at the Battle of Alamance. Um, this is a Revolutionary War battle that happened before the Revolutionary War in 1771 uh, between a group of regulators who were a bunch of backwood farmer, colonial kind of people, and they protested the royal gover government, the royal governor, and the royal government of North Carolina about taxation issues. And that was this was kind of like a prelude to the uh, Declaration of Independence. And so this is the battlefield. Okay, there's the sign, there's the visitor center closed, closed at five o'clock, and there's the battlefield where I happened. There's a commemorative marker, and uh, yeah. It had to do with taxation. That was the biggest uh, issue during the American Revolution was taxation without representation. That's why the Boston Tea Party occurred. And I wish I could go as far north as Boston, but maybe I'll do that to the sequel of uh, Heritage you know, and do like a Heritage too, you know, and then do all like the Northeast or in maybe go out west or something. But Battle of Alamance, 1771, uh, prelude to the American Revolution, and uh, a group called the uh, 
it was um, the war on regulation, you know, is what they called it. And uh, they were called, they called themselves regulators. And they were a bunch of North Car Carolinian farmers uh, protesting the royal government of North Carolina. And uh, taxation without representation was a big issue, among other things. And uh, this is the Battle of Alamance near Raleigh, North Carolina. So there is uh, Civil War history here too at the Battle of Alamance, other than colonial history, Revolutionary War history, also Civil War history. Um, I just visited Bentonville, you know, the battlefield, and that was south, about an hour and a half south. And uh, that was like the major, a major battle in North Carolina and one of the biggest battles in the Civil War that a lot of people don't really talk about, but many say that it was just as big as Gettysburg as far as casualties and uh, intensity of the fighting. And it lasted, you know, like three days, just like Gettysburg did. Um, but Gettysburg is more popular, and Gettysburg was the turning point of the American Civil War, and, you know, you had Pickett's Charge and all of that. Um, it was a big deal, you know, and that's why Gettysburg overshadows all the other major battles of the American Civil War. But, but here, uh, General William J. Hardy, who uh, led General Joseph E. Johnson's southern column of the Army of Tennessee uh, through here in uh, 1865. Uh, it was through Alamance County on April 15, 1865, and it was around that time that Lee had surrendered out at Appomattox Courthouse, Virginia, to Ulysses S. Grant, effectively ending the Civil War. It wasn't the last battle. Appomattox uh, Courthouse, you know, around that time, the, the war officially ended. Oh, well, I don't know if it was official. I guess it was official. The war ended, you know, the Civil War. That was the end of the Civil War, as we know it. But that wasn't the last battle. The last battle happened in Texas, okay, and uh, on the border of Mexico. And that's another story that I'll share at another time which was a Confederate victory, by the way. Um, but this, uh, th this does play a role, not only in uh, Revolutionary War history, but also Civil War history, American Civil War history. And you can look out there uh, and see the, they have a couple of uh, obelisks. Well, there's an obelisk, and then there's a statue of something else over there behind the trees. And I'm gonna go check those out. So Battle of Alamance in Alamance County, North Carolina. So the Battle of Alamance is widely considered to be the first battle of the, of the American Revolution. It happened actually five years before um, the Colonials declared independence. And um, so there is a statue over here. Uh, there's a couple of different statues, monuments. And uh, here's one of a Colonial soldier. Okay. Colonial column. I'm not sure who it's a statue of, but we're going to find out here at the Battle of Alamance state historic site. The first battle of the American Revolution, 1771. The Battle of Alamance. Alamance County, near Raleigh. 
not too far from Raleigh, North Carolina. And now I'm going to head to Cherokee, North Carolina and talk about my Native American heritage since uh, I am part Cherokee. Uh, there's my car way over there, so I'm going to walk in this hot evening sun all the way to my car, which has great air conditioner, by the way. I love the, the Nissan Sentras, the 2019 Nissan Sentras. Great on gas, good air conditioning, and not bad to sleep in uh, at the Love's truck stops. So, Battle of Alamance, North Carolina, American Revolution. And it was a, uh, actually it was a British victory. Yeah, because the uh, colonial militias were not that strong, and there was not enough anti uh, King George the second sentiment actually it was King George the, the third uh, there wasn't enough uh, sentiment toward uh, the British crown his majesty uh, to have a good fighting force at that time later on there was especially when we had the French under uh, Lafayette come join us and helped us fight and whip him at a uh, whipped Cornwallis at Lord Cornwallis at Yorktown Virginia which I will visit in a couple of days so Anyways, uh, time for about a five and a half hour drive west into the Appalachian Mountains to Cherokee Indian Reservation, Cherokee, North Carolina. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy, a Yankee Doodle Do or Die, a real life nephew of my uncle Sam, born on the 4th of She's my Yankee Doodle Joy. Yankee Doodle came to London just to ride the ponies. I am a Yankee Doodle boy. For it was May. But with propriety, society will say Marie. But it was Mary, Mary, long before the fashions came. And there is something there that sounds so square, it's a grand old for it was Mary, Mary, long before the fashions came. And there is something there that sounds so square. It's a grand old My regards to Broadway, remember me to Harrow Square. Tell all the gang at 42nd Street that I will soon be there. Whisper of how I'm yearning to mingle with the old time throng. Give my regards to old Broadway and say that I.
in my bones I've been here before The ground 